Welcome back to Don's Life on the channel. Thanks for joining today. Today's episode, we're going to install these powerful Power Extend upgraded tow mirrors on my 2016 Ford F 150 work truck. Let's go. Okay, before the install, let's talk about some of the features of the mirrors themselves. First off, they're provided by Boost Auto Parts, so go to boostautoparts.com and spec yours out today. Now with these ones here, there are so many options available. I'm actually gonna have to cheat and read off of my build sheet so I don't miss anything and let you know what's available. Now as my starting point, I had these manual fold mirrors on this 2016 F-150. The glass is power adjustable, it has defrost, has a front marker light, but it does not have a puddle lamp. And that's important to mention because these don't have puddle lamps. So depending on what you currently have, whichever vehicle, whether it be Chevy, GM, Dodge, Nissan, Toyota, whatever mirrors they have available for you, it could limit what you have available to spec out just based on what's existing. But some of the most important features, which I'll get into, are available as an upgrade on these. And I think that's really cool. I'm gonna go right off my build sheet here. So when you head over to the website, you can choose if you want the casing black paintable, which you would paint yourself, or in chrome, because maybe you have a bunch of chrome on the vehicle and you want it to match. Uh, you can choose if these marker lenses are going to be clear or smoked. I chose smoke. You can choose if the signal light will be signal only, signal and running light, so the amber or a switchback. I chose amber, so these should be illuminated amber the whole time. I think that's good for me because we tow a trailer often, so we got that little bit of extra width. Um, and then you can decide if you want to continue using a puddle lamp if you had one. These don't have a puddle lamp, so I wasn't able to select that as an option. And we can choose on the defrost option. So this one just has the one big piece of power adjustable glass with defrost, but this little extension mirror on here doesn't. I'm able to have heated glass here and here. So that's an option that I was able to uh, carry over. The best part of these mirrors is that these modules right here allow the mirrors to power fold and power extend wirelessly by talking to those modules. And we'll show you how that's done without any cutting, without any drilling, and just keeping all the switches you have the way that you have them. So let's get into the install. To do this install, you're gonna to need to take off the door panels. To do that, you'll need some trim removal tools. You have to take off this door handle cover and a little square piece right here that will reveal two seven millimeter bolts there, two here. There's one under here. I think you can just pop this off my hand. Usually they're not too hard. There you go, nothing broken. And there's one there and then there's two down here. Um, this is a little bit dirtier than I would like for my personal vehicle, but it is driven around by some smelly dudes to do work. So it's a work truck, but that's okay. They're gonna really like these mirrors. So let's get this apart. I want my viewers to know that I'm following the actual video tutorials that are on BoostAutoParts.com's website. I recommend doing the same. You're seeing me do many of the same steps, but I may not be covering it as in depth as they would on their website because it's gonna be vehicle specific and depending on the features that you have. So you're gonna get a sense of everything that I'm doing. I'm explaining most of it. I'm pointing out some, some good things to do and maybe some things to watch out for but for the full detail that you may be looking for for your specific install, please check out their website for those instructions. Let's actually start with the driver's side. Thank you. 
Okay, next we need to get into our bag of goodies. We're gonna get the two red T-taps out of here and we're gonna tap into this main module. We're gonna tap into the first two wires, the red and the black. So I'm just gonna tap both of those and then we'll reattach it. Our harnesses are labeled left and right. So this is the left bag. It comes with two harnesses, which is the driver's side. And then when you look at your wireless modules, you have one that has two harness locations, one that has one. So this is clearly the driver's side or the left. So we're just going to get these fitted in here. You can't get it wrong. One has eight pins, one has six. There we go. Easy first step, we're gonna connect the red to the red tap and the black to the black tap. Make sure it gets secured all the way in. You don't want anything loose or coming loose once the door panel is reattached. So you got these connected. You're gonna take the other wires that aren't connected to anything. You're going to pop this off for of the retaining clip and you're gonna tuck these extra wires, which we'll use shortly up through here so it's nice and neat. And then you'll reattach this. Okay, we have five harnesses to connect and coming through the mirror, we have one, two, three, four, and five. Now they're all different, so we shouldn't be able to make any mistakes. So just connect them all. Okay, we've got all of our wires connected. A couple things to mention. Don't be tempted to push this harness back through there. You're just introducing it to more uh, issues like possibly moisture and that type of thing. So try to keep it on the inside of the uh, door panel. And then this module right here, they say it's best to just kind of tuck it up in here, put the wires the other way. And then we're going to, once we get this situated, Tuck that in there, and then we're going to zip tie all of these with the cables provided nicely in here. If yours is spec'd out with signal lights, you've got to run this blue wire all the way through down here through this boot. Then you're gonna run it up here through this conduit into the cab, and then there is a pin location that you're gonna need to feed this into the harness and on the passenger side, it's a different location. I'll get all these fed through on both sides and then I'll show you where you connect them. Now you wanna make sure it's critical too that nothing is pinched in this area. You wanna make sure that there was nothing that was pinched in this area behind the door panel. And then we should be able to secure everything.
Okay, the moment of truth, let's do the test. So I'm just going to turn the accessory position on. Now what you wanna do is you wanna push the left mirror selector and you wanna do a little code here. Left, left, right, right. You'll hear a double beep. Now when I push down, they'll fold in. When I push the up arrow, they'll fold out. Now if I want them to extend, I hold down the left button and then let go. And then if I want to retract, I push the right button, hold it down. Perfect. If I don't do anything, the module will time out after 10 seconds. You'll hear three beeps. There we go. So right now I'm back to just power adjusting the mirrors. And then the bottom one you adjust manually. And then I'll just make sure my right one's working. That's all working there. I'll activate the module again. So it's left mirror select, left, left, right, right. Heard the double beep. Now I'll switch to the power extend. That's extend left. Retract. Fold. And for folding, you just have to push the button once. But for the extending and retracting, you have to hold it down because you might not want it all the way out or all the way in. You might want it somewhere in between. And again, it'll time out. Or I can hit left, left, right, right. And that will shut the module off. Piece of cake works simple. Let's do a vibration test. Go for a bit of a drive. There's lots of ice ruts and snow. So probably uh, the best time to do it. Let's go. All right, first step. I got to get out of the garage. I'm going to have to fold this mirror because it's a lot bigger than before. So let's make sure it all works like I said. Left, left, right, right. We want to fold it. Perfect. You'll notice a slight delay from one to the other, and that's just a difference in communication time. It's perfectly normal that they're not exactly in sync. So now we'll pull out here. And it timed out, so I got to hit left, left, right, right. And now I can push up and they will go out. Just make sure I clear the doorway and don't hit my car. And I'm just gonna hop out and close the garage quick. All right, if you look out in front of us, we've got all kinds of ruts and grooves and, and bumps. Probably be harder to keep the camera steady and I think the mirrors will do fine, but we'll, we'll go for a bit of test here, make sure we don't have too much vibration. I'm hitting quite a bit of bumps right now. We'll just keep focused on maybe the passenger mirror there and, and have a look. But I'm going way faster over the bumps than I normally would. And I'm not having any problem with uh, keeping track of what's going on back there. Get on a smoother area here, get up to a higher speed. No, it's pretty smooth. I'm impressed, let's uh, extend them. I just gotta do it right here. So now they're out. Let's see if there's vibration. Don't want to spin out. <laughs> it's really icy. Okay, there's when they're extended, there's a little more vibration, but I don't think it's a deal breaker. It's not bad but you might be able to pick it up on camera just a little bit there. I am going over a bit of washboard right now, so that's probably at its worst. But there we go. Now I'll just pull them back in.
All right, before I forget, I gotta make sure these marker lights are working. So let me hop out of the truck and double check those. Everything is working the way that it should. I'm really impressed with the build quality. The install, Boost Auto Parts is great to deal with. Go check out their website at boostautoparts.com. But if you like today's video, hit that like button. If you're new here and you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. And we'll talk to you next time. Thank you.